Welcome back to the turning of the leaves. We've just finished robbing the. Uh, oh, you know what? So we've just finished here. Let's. Turn back on the. Spooky effects. There we are. We've just finished robbing the, uh, the Shadowhand gang and uh, instantly knocking them all out. Hello. Ah, oh, it's just a wall. If somebody I thought that was like planks of wood. It was like a ladder to some climb up somewhere I hadn't been. No. So, uh, and we haven't yet reached the loot goal, but there's an abandoned temple that, you know, could be an interesting place to try and find more valuables. Although apparently it's also uh, filled with bolsters who like to eat people who uh, get in their way. Hello. And here we are. Temple. Oh, well, I called it a temple and so did they, so that's fine. Creepy is, is of course, the uh, gang's place. I really love this map. I really love the effort they went to to order map it properly. You know, wow, I should make a save, right? It's a creepy cultist. And the creepy cultist robes. That's probably the best thing is to try and pop down behind them, right? They may be creepy cultists, but they still sleep just like anybody else. What happens if we go further south? That leads to their village, right? what sounds like another creepy cultist down there. Lunadalia. Do you have a mask? No, you're just very creepy. Alright, well you can hang out with your other creepy friend here. Okay, so... Before we go any further... Let's see what's in the temple here. Any further towards that village, that is. Explains the creepy statues in the woods. So what's there? I guess there is. It would be nice to have some water arrows, but I have some now. Let's not go directly to where we're hearing voices. Okay, these are 
suspicious. I feel like bad stuff might happen if I take those. God, these guys clear those ropes a lot. Some kind of summoning circle. That's throat clearing is coming from upstairs, right? Uh, yeah. Well, not all of it. Mm. Mm. Oh, he's doing something a table in his little torch dungeon there. Of course, we're mapping this place too, so. Uh, Passages west. Let's see, that's north. So that's the torture room, right? Oh no, that's here. Think. Well, this is interesting. This shows. Another doorway out of here. Ah, oh, so it's a door. Good, thank you, Matt. Like, I have one of those already, right? I found one of those. I read one of those. Ember glow crystal. I'll leave those others. Yeah, okay, so here's the summoning room. Let's just call it summon. Let's try to use lowercase something so it fits better. Maybe we just put a sacrifice room, but. Okay, so we've got more rooms to the west and north. West is upstairs. This is another closed door I can't open. Oh, maybe that's also a closed door I can't open. Oh, and these are red and blue ember glows. Alright, that's collapsed. Cave in. It's shorter than collapse. Alright, let's go upstairs. I don't want to take these things until I know what they're for. Dark room, which I didn't mean to go that way because I didn't want to risk waking that fellow. Let's leave him with his pal out here. If I don't get too dreadfully stuck on this doorway, which apparently is too narrow. Alright. Alright, right, fixed. Coltus Kettle Ball. Ah, I'm getting stuck again. Beneath a crowd box, right? Ah, interesting. Well, I suppose maybe the only interesting stuff is downstairs. What have we got here? Coins and offerings for this creepy statue. And that creepy statue.
And there's our loop goal complete. Oh, I see we have uh, a map of this section too. Where's the stairs? I guess the stairs are here. Holy water, that uh, suggestive of enemies. Hello, that's a Frasier we could lack light. Torch made out of pelvis and spine. Not creepy at all. Okay, so we can do something with both abrasions. Why is that white? Is that just a little tiny mushroom I can't think of? Can I get in here? I mean, there's another mushroom. I guess that's why this where I go from the outside. Huh, so I could only, the only way I could have got in was the way I did come in. Back door of the entrance? I suppose it was the front of the entrance from the uh, cultist's point of view. It'll be interesting to know what they're doing here and what I can do about it. Hello? Those are all marked, so we'll, we'll need those. Can I get back up? Is the question. Hmm. <laughs> I can. Just. Right. So that would let me see the way in, not actually get in. But more importantly, it lets me get another mushroom. Very important. And it'll probably wake everyone up. But there's also the old tower, the ruins, which I thought was part of the temple complex, but isn't. So let's go check this out. At the moment, they're uh, around to the west. There's clearly a basement here, right? Oh shit, you don't have to be remembered? Hang on. I am not finished with the bandits. I had a chest that was locked, and I didn't get back to it after getting my lockpicks. For a second you got me there. Okay, for just a second. I got it. There we go. Much better. All right. Back to the ruined tower. <clears throat> what reminded me was seeing this uh, clearly climbable uh, log here. Fall down here, can we get back out? Yeah, it should be easy. Oh, 
hell is this? <laughs> Old church. Wow, this place is huge. Lucky for me, he did not hear that. That's a key. How come I can't pick it up? Oh, I can. I just was not. Right, okay, shack key. This is to us. Dearest Elizabeth, I know not when I should be able to lay mine eyes upon thee again, dear sister, for this work does prove most trying. As hard as it is to believe, the heathens of this village have no knowledge of the builder's light, and do live in most grievous sin. They speaketh not the common tongue, but I have deciphered some of their meaning. Their false god demandeth some sort of ritual animal sacrifice in the consumption of the flesh. The bones are then venerated somehow at a temple deeper into the woods, the location of which I have yet to determine. The old abandoned church here is simple, but it standeth yet. I must get through to them, for their very souls are in grave peril. Ever thy faithful brother, brother Marcus. Bugs. So this is the cultist village, I guess. Right, well, let's leave that for just the present. After the last mission where I, um... <coughs> failed to knock out the guards and regretted it later. This time, I'm just doing it preemptively. Mostly because, uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. No, I don't want your hammer. Mostly doing it preemptively. Because I've forgotten how to speak. What was I saying? Mostly doing preemptively because the level is levels are so tight here that there isn't really a lot of room to run around and and mess with people if it turns out. Oh, coffin rock fungus, more holy water. Oh, it's going to be needed at some point. And a secret. Those are not normally valuables, but okay. They're, they're just wood, painted wood. Apparently people pay money for that these days, who knows. People pay money for the strangest things, hello. I guess I'm lucky that these cultists don't care for gold. Because they haven't looted this place. Right, I guess for the catacombs.
nice it's assassin here. Well, that's a village, but I'd rather not approach it through the water, you know. That'd be one way to approach it. Where's the other parts go? This one should connect to the temple, right? Yes. Yeah, we've been here. And this way, if we go deeper. Old gravestone. In memory of unreadable. Interesting. And that's the way we came. Let's see if we get in here. What do I give for Red Arrow right now? I cannot see a way up. much splashing in this water. Come back for your chest. Drop her in the water, but uh, they do turn around. Okay, which was facing left again, and then go <coughs> bonk him on the noggin as well. He turns directly away from me. I don't know which directions he faces. So that'll do. That's cooked his goose. Alright, let's pick the huts. Ritual instructions. Uh, one. Put a bone. In one thing, then take the bone out with a green flame. Two, where there are four hanging arms, stick a bone in the skeleton's mouth and then stick a cookie in its mouth. I think I'm going to need some written instructions to go with this as well. Dewdrop. Don't know what dewdrop is for, but uh, dewdrop always brings good luck. something and then torn off fingernail that is strange and I don't like it and it's hard to see it's like literally tiny so can I drop it on the chair Kinda. Okay. 
Oh, I see. It's okay, sitting on this. There we are. That's somewhat visible. Let's see. We are in the southeasternmost hut. Fingernails in here. Maybe I need that for the ritual? I didn't realize there was anything to be had, but I must have frogged it. The good news is that this insect didn't sting me. And uses you're in the way. Good news is you guys keep loot. A little bit of loot. Hello. Hello. Just drink strange potions you find in strange cultists' huts. Sure, but uh, it is doing me a world of good. Maybe the magic has something to it. Another black bomb. Got and I have found one. Two is better. Alright, we're gonna need that for the ritual. <laughs> the runes on this spell are very bad. What's this one? Fix this pansy. Huh. Fix this pansy. So if we look at the ritual instructions, make a note. Alright, that's the one, the screw fire. Is that the same one? I don't know, but maybe that's a flower, and if that's a flower then probably tricks us fancy, or it could just be a coincidence that that was there. Okay, about Amaryllis. You know what's Eevee Apple? Yay, finally got a hit point. From food. And here we are back at the old church. Ah. Ah, this, this must... Oh, there's a shoe and a hat. Must be an old victim of, of more shoes. Spectacles, a whole pile of shoes. That's what that is. More of their victims. Okay. So we've explored their entire village now. Don't know what the fingernail is for. Very strange that it's there, but maybe it's just there to be creepy and gross. Because it was, did function like a junk item. What else do they have down here? Water arrows, nice. Nets. More flowers that I throw away. Don't quite understand why all the flowers, but... Let's move bolt cutters. More water arrows are not unwelcome. Alright. It does look like we're not going to get any more detailed instructions than we already have. Okay, I'll go the long way around then. It's just not getting stuck there. I guess we should go east to the back to the temple. Where's the grave? This way. Oh, 
Okay, so we had that door, that door I couldn't get in, that door was closed, that door was closed, right? Feels like I'm going to have to do the ritual. Huh? Nothing? You know what, I'm going to take these. See? Something bad is happening. Why would you imagine something bad would happen when I took them? Or that something bad might happen here. Oh, the ritual, the ritual chamber was upstairs, right? Where was the stairs? Back to the summoning chamber. Okay. The, the, the... The fire thingy is upstairs. Alright. Be a bad idea. Well, hmm. I think there's someone in another one of those things, yeah. I should probably not go face-to-face uh, -face for with it in combat, right? Let's see where it goes. No stronger than a hammer haunt. I mean, maybe we're supposed to summon them. Maybe that's the point. Oh. Ritual instructions. Bone and something. Alright. That's a bone. things. Could they squelch noisily? Suspicious. Yeah, he must have heard that. Well, oh, he'll calm down soon. These bone, these arms hanging from the roof are incredibly creepy. By the way, much creepier than the rest of the stuff. All 
right. Should have put the hideout key somewhere. Shack key. I haven't found the shack, have I? Maybe the shack was that. Sounds like he's come through here. I'm gonna have to wait till he comes down. Like that. I didn't calm down quite enough. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you and me both. You know what? Objective complete? What is it? You completely mapped out this part of the forest. Okay. Uh, I was surprised it was giving me a bonus objective for uh, attacking the guy, but yeah, it was something else. Very cultist priest. <laughs> That's much worse than a human centipede. Hello. You know what I just suddenly realized? Those don't seem to do anything. That's odd. You know what I realized? Put them down because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Let's not take that just yet. We kind of have unfinished business elsewhere. You know, I just remembered. <sighs> Second lot of unfinished business back at the balance place. Because I have the memory of something with a terrible memory. Uh, sure, we can go through the cave. Is there a passage there? Or is... Oh, I was just misreading it. In my hurry. Why is it so hard for Garrett to get up there? Never mind, let's walk up. No, oh, it's back to the temple. This way? This way. Back in their training room. The door that said not to open. I think I didn't throw away the key yet, right? Good thing I didn't throw away the key yet. Where was the training room? Here we are. I wouldn't have even known there was a secret door if not for the note, so... There's some contraption here. Oh, that's just the door. Well, there's nothing behind it. 
empty vial. Lots of them. Metal frameworks. Mechanical triggers. What's behind here? Can't cut it down with a frying pan before. <laughs> Nothing behind there. And we can get by cutting it down. Alright. A complete and accurate guide to my own marvellous invention, the Universal Amalgamator. Created by Brother Scrutinius with the kind patronage of Lord Hubert Boringdale. Most assuredly not powered by necromancy. In case there was any doubt. Welcome, young acolyte, to this most wondrous tome of knowledge. In these pages I shall lay out the specifics for the use of the Universal Amalgamator, made possible by the generous financial contributions of one Lord Hubert Boringdale. First, let me assure you once more that the Amalgamator uses no necromantic arts. Do not mind the corpse. The machine simply channels electricity, not necromantic energies, through the corpse's brain in order to power the Amalgamator's logic circuits. The subject was dead some time before I began my work, and I had no hand in it. Listen not to the fanciful fictitious fabrications of mine brethren. They are merely envious. With that out of the way, let me explain how to use the machine. 1. Place components upon the conveyor. 2. Pull thou the big red lever. 3. Collect thine items from the output tray. Mark thee well. Follow the recipe for each product, or the machine shall be unable to process the components. In this event, the amalgamator shall discharge the components onto the output tray most completely unamalgamated. On the following pages, I shall lay out the recipes I have discovered through much toil and experimentation. Inert Potion For the mixing of useful potions, first I must brew a base inert potion from which all others might then be mixed upon. To make such a potion, combine turquoise begonia, most usually found near running water, with the common flower magefire aster, and provideth the amalgamator with a glass vial to hold the potion. Explosive mine. To make it an explosive device of some potency, first combine a metal frame with a mechanical trigger to make a mine bulb. Next, combine this mine bulb with the highly flammable flower called Flameburst Plumeria and a sample of Mage by Aster. Scouting orb, an ingenious mechanical device of far seeing. To construct it, place into the machine a metal frame, some glass, and a sample of cave heart amaryllis. Holy water vial. In the absence of a priest of the builder, sanctified water may be crafted by the novice who remembers that the lunar dahlia has been sacred to the builder since time immemorial, since it absorbeth the silvery blessing of moonlight. Simply mix a basic inert potion with, lu with lunar dahlia to make a potion of holy water. Potion of invisibility. This potent beverage doth fade the drinker from sight of mortal man for some brief moments. To make it, mix one inert potion with coffin rot fungus, cave heart amaryllis, and trickster's pansy. Wolfsbane bomb. This device explodes on impact and will cure the accursed of all forms of lycanthropy. First, constructeth thou a mine bowl. See the instructions for explosive mine. Then, combineth the mine bowl with a vial of holy water, a healing potion, and a sample of bloodroot. Flare. A device which will grow bright, glow brightly in dark places for a short time. To make it, combine a mechanical trigger with a glass vial and a sample of flame burst plumeria. Gaseous mine. To make a device which, upon triggering, releaseth a noisome fume that can render a full-grown man unconscious, one must first create a mine bulb. Combine the mine bulb with a sample of coffin rot fungus and a wedge of cheese. Well, I've eaten all the cheese. Potion of speed. This miraculous concoction shall make the one who drinketh it move with superhuman ability for a short while. To brew this potion, mix with an inner potion with Trickster's Pansy, Flameburst Plumeria, and Turquoise Begonia. Where thee who drinketh this potion? In short, thou art close to a privy, for it hath a most tumultuous effect on one's guts. Healing Potion. To make it the potion that will cure small hurts and maladies, combine an inert base potion with two plants of medicinal value, Swamp Narcissus and Bone Wheel Mushroom. Includeth also another sample of Magefire Aster. Flash Bomb, a device that will burst upon impact, releasing an alchemical flash searing light. To construct, place into the machine one mine bulb, a metal frame, and some piece of glass. Common flare, as well as a flame burst plumeria and lunar dahlia. Fire lighters. If thou would hast gotten damp, or thou art otherwise having trouble making a fire, 
These small flammable bricks shall speed thee along the, on thy way to a hearty flame. Combine a flame burst plumeria with bone wheel mushroom and an ember glow crystal in the machine. Well, I guess I shall have to do that. To probably to get the wood to burn. Flame burst plumeria, bone wheel mushroom, and the ember glow crystal. Where is the corpse that he mentioned, by the way? I see no corpse. Oh. There's the corpse. Yeah, it's not necromancy. Can't be necromancy. Okay. Ember globe crystal. Flame burst. Familiar. And bone wheel mushroom. Then pull us the big red lever. Did that take all my flowers of each? Oh no, I only dropped one of each. Cool. Violators. Alright, uh, where's the instructions? Not the ritual instructions. It would be nicer if the instruction manual did not come into my inventory, honestly. Easy to read it. Okay, turquoise, begonia, magefire, aster, and a glass vial. Let's make a couple more of them. Turquoise Begonia, Mage Fire Asta, and an empty vial. Turquoise Begonia, Mage Fire Asta, empty vial. Not sure how many I'm going to need. Alright, let's check the instructions again. Let's let's plan out what I need to make. I'm not just making stuff willy-nilly. Three is, I'm definitely gonna need three of those, right? So first thing I want to make one of everything. Uh that doesn't need a potion. That doesn't need a potion. Here we have inert potion Lunadalia. Inert potion. One, two. Uh th three, four, because we're gonna need holy water healing potion. I guess we can Use that. So one, two. Fuck, we're not going to be able to make one of everything. Three. Four. Five. So we made three no potions, potions, let's make two more. Turquoise. Begonia, Mage Fire Asta, Defile, Turquoise Begonia, Mage Fire Asta, Empty Fire. Alright, five inner potions. Okay, where's the instructions again? How do we make healing potions? I want two of those. Pump Nuck is this bone wheel mushroom and made by Asta. Oh, and of course, you know, potion. Which is when? Bone mushroom, in a potion. Bone mushroom. Mage by Asta and Swamp Narcissus. Narcissus, Narcissus, I don't know. Okay. We well, should make another one of those, but not just now. Um, Holy Water Vial, we actually have some of, so I don't need to make one. Potion of Visibility. Coffin Rot Fungus. Cave Heart Amaryllis. 
Trix is fancy. Coconut fungus, Trix is fancy, Cape Cod emeralds. That could come in handy when we do the thing in the in the temple. All right, uh, next. I guess I'm not going to bother trying to make fun of everything. That's probably a bonus objective, but um, seeing as I ate all the cheese in a desperate attempt to get the health back, we're not going to make use of that. We're not going to be able to make the uh, gas thing. Okay, mind ball. We need a mind ball. Metal frame and mechanical trigger. I should have put the book down again. Oh, there it is. Uh, mind bulb, vial of holy water, healing potion, and blood root. Healing potion. Mind bulb. Holy water. Wait. Blood root? I don't have blood root. Where do I get blood root? Sample of blood root. Get our ingredients back. Oh, nicely stacked. Right, let's drop these here. So we don't accidentally use them anywhere. Anything else I want to make while... Let's look away from there while we'll read the book. While I'm here. I guess if we look at what I want to make, I might want another one of those. I've got two more things, right? I don't think I need a speed mode potion. Uh, if I make another healing potion, Swamp Narcissus, Bone Wheel Mushroom, Mage Fire Aster. I want to just use the healing potion. And uh, I've got to put the book down again. I always do that. And we can make another invisibility potion. Cotton rot fungus, cave heart amaryllis, and Trixus pansy. Cotton rot fungus, Trixus pansy, Cave Heart Emeralds. Alright, where's my instruction book? And uh, the other sort of junk, I guess. Guess we don't need it all cluttering up my inventory here, right? I took a few too many of those. So only taking the ones I needed. Ankle trigger. That's fine. Go. Oh, it's kind of messy. All right, and uh, in terms of flowers, let's just put all the flowers here. If I throw, there's the whole stack, right? If I throw it straight down, they won't go anywhere. I 
come up again if I want to do any more construction, but until then, it's just less clutter in my inventory if I'm fumbling for, uh... If I happen to be fumbling for, uh... Invisibility potions or anything, it will be of value. have less to fumble through. Alright. Other stuff we can leave behind. A note to Yaren. Yeah, I went in here, right? No. That's uh, the entrance. No, that's the storeroom. It's not Yaron's place, it's the armory. It's the training room, that's where everybody else is. Didn't mean to read it, so I was trying to get a. Here we are, this is Yaron's workshop. Oh, Yaron's key, of course. You know what, let's just leave Yaron's key in here. We don't need to lock the place. I think they left it unlocked. All right. Anything else to leave behind? Don't know where the shack key is used. Good. Let's get out of here. If I can find the way out of here. Here we are. Well, that was definitely profitable. Where's my other healing potion? Okay, we need wolves. Bloodroot. We need bloodroot. Where do we where do we find bloodroot? I've not found bloodroot anywhere. I've not heard anybody even mention it. However, I feel like I can maybe safely do this, well, semi-safely. me safely. You know what? He's already dead, so he's not going to do any good there. Let's uh, throw him up on the sacrificial table here. We have two mines. That didn't work. I have a better plan. Holy water, right? Holy water. Whoa, he exploded rather hazardously, but uh and his bones are still moving. I 
finally realized that there's Weaver the Fall on as well. Alright, we got the Idol of Blood. Don't know what we need it for. It's not Blood Root, surely. Nothing happened in here, I guess. Does this open somehow? <laughs> so it does. That's not just for show. Very nice secret uh, lever there. Okay. Bloodroot. You're not Bloodroot, are you? Where do I find Bloodroot? Surely these guys would have Bloodroot. Surely these guys. Maybe a grave would grow Bloodroot. I didn't mean to throw them away. I don't understand why there's a grave there either. Right? It seems quite... I mean, sure, there's a grave. But it also doesn't seem to connect to anything. You're not Bloodroot. I don't really need to collect the flowers again, but, uh, you know, thing highlights... Is this, connect to, this is the one that connects to the catacombs. Where do I find Bloodroot? <laughs> What's up, Blood? So far, no blood root. I have a feeling Marcus did not uh, safely make it out of here. I mean, one of these two was him, right? But it was the guy that's sleeping there, but I have a feeling it was not Marcus. You are not blood root. Hmm. Feels likely to me that there is only one blood root in the map, right? I wonder, I wonder. If we go back to the temple, if we go back to... <laughs> the werewolf's cover. So like we're doing this to try and, and cure him, right? He's desperate not to be a werewolf. So which way is it? You want to go... No, yeah, that's not nice, it's fine. Here we are. Hello, four flowers. Is that bloodroot? I mean, that's a unique flower as far as I can tell, but I can't... can't throw it. They do grow back quickly, so the idea is there is no... Never, never gonna run out of them. Just fine. <sighs> Read his diary again. Uh, he does not mention blood root at, blood root at all. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. So if he is not considering Bloodroot as an option, then why would you have a sample of it? Wouldn't make any sense, so... Does that move? Feels like it might move, you know? There is a door. 
So now we need to find a switch. It's a werewolf. Oh, that's the... So maybe the guy sitting above is not the one suffering life control. Check his diary once more, just for that. No change in condition, no change in condition, no change in condition. Yes, 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 there must be a cure. This is, this is Rebecca. He's trying to cure his, his girlfriend. Okay, so we definitely need that wolf, that, that blood root, but where? And why is it not this? Also, I see these are actually growing back, but they're smaller and increasing in size before they're probable. That's kind of weird. Um, I don't think I've seen anything else about Bloodroot. So, uh, I think I'm going to go look it up. I'll be right back. Alright, well, I have a location for Bloodroot. Back in the temple. Which is not here, that's the old tower, or I guess it does kind of connect, but uh, it quickly goes to the temple proper, right? Which is this way. That's blood root. Alright. I didn't see it before. I looked in the doorway, but did not see that. So. Good, 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 good. So now we have to go back to the bandits. This way, good, yep. Why do I keep lo locking the door behind me? You know, it's, it's foolish. He turns as he goes and does it again. I want them to have consternation. Uh, southeast. Here we are, I didn't have to go very far. So. You know what, I hate this mess. Let's just pick everything up again now. We can take some pretty flowers back. To the city. Maybe our fence will like some flowers. Alright, so we need the blood root. Where is it? Where is the blood root? Come on. Blood root. Healing potion. Mind bowl. And holy water. Wolf's Bane Grenade. Let's read the instructions again on using it. Explodes on impact and will cure the accursed of all forms of lycanthropy. Alright. Off we go then. Let's close it up behind us. Just for safety. Where's my key? matters on that door. I think I am done with the hideout now, but uh, I'll just carry the keys with me. I could drop them in the forest somewhere, but you know, if I take them away, they also will equally not be able to find them. 
Uh, it's not the temple we need. It's the hut. All right. This is going to be a risky business because... They know I'm here and right now they are not at all happy about it. Oh well, I mean I guess it, she wasn't wearing anything. Bonus, she broke Rebecca, Rebecca's curse. Well, Rebecca, probably, you know, better not to leave you, uh... Oops. Lying in the cold. Oh, I have to close all the doors, don't I? Well, the carpet will have to do. There we are. Good night, Rebecca. Good night. Whatever your name is. No more lycanthropy for you. Stay away from werewolves in future. Because you're not going to get a repeat of that healing. Shack key. Is this a shack key? Is this a shack? I've got a shack key. I've never found out what it's for. Nope. And uh, I don't really see anything on the... Where was the Shaki? The Shaki was in the old church. Huh, I have no idea what the Shaki would be for. But I don't fancy looking it up. I think we've done everything we need to do. So find somewhere safe, warm and dry to spend the night. Let's get back to the hut. Armory key in that pile of uh, things. You know what? I'll keep the flowers. I'll decorate the hut with the flowers. Um, we will drop their keys. You know, drop them in the drop them in the river. Could mean they never find them again. Definitely don't want anyone to do the ritual again, right? Okay, I didn't use the invisibility version in the end after some the ritual. You know the cultist wand? I'm sure I could sell that. Let's go back to the hut. There's my hut key. I don't even have to mix fire. Oh, that's a shame. I went to all the trouble getting the fire, of making the fire lighters, getting the flint and steel, uh, and it doesn't even give me the opportunity. Okay, let me try something. I'm wondering if I can prop that stuff from a distance. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Ooh. 
Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to. So that's unfortunate. Sure, there's another bonus objective that it's just not gonna let me do. Oh well. It is what it is. I guess I should have focused on getting it warm and dry before getting back here. I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. We had all the stuff, so we can assume here will be warm and dry. It's like that, safe, warm and dry. It does say all three. It's, it might be safe, but it's not currently warm, and I well, it's presumably dry. Four out of seven secrets. Okay, I missed a bunch. Um, and that is the turning of the leaves. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you join me whenever the next episode goes up for whatever the next mission is going to be. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.